engineers do it before we start today's video i would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my youtube channel how engineers do it to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update hello friends this is mohammed shakil here from how engineers do it and today we're going to learn how to create a dashboard in this manner so i'll just show you how this dashboard works so here i have the source data in which uh, the different weeks and the days and the number of defects and uh, which day of the month or which day of the week that day is. So here I have created another table in which uh, the data is uh, getting pulled from this uh, main table and uh, here I have uh, data validation from which if I select different uh, weeks the uh, dashboard is going to change accordingly. So this kind of a, a representation will be helpful if, if you would like to show to your senior, ma senior management how your uh, uh, defect data works on uh, week by week. So let's say I have this, this data over here and I want to show week by week how my uh, 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 defect performance is. So if I am showing this table, this table is going to be a long one and I have to show it this way. And it doesn't uh, really uh, it's it's not graphical all right so over here this is more graphical and this is more readable so if i'm talking about uh, week three you can see uh, the most number of defects happened on monday uh, on the 14th of january which we have uh, five five defects so if i go for week five uh, the most number of defects happened on thursday that's 31st of jan so in this way we can represent the defects. So without further ado, let's go into the videos. Thank you. So the first part of the video will be to set up the source data. As a viewers, uh, you, you might not be having the file that I'm working on and uh, probably if I start doing uh, uh, right from here, then you might not be having this data. So I'll just quickly show you how we can generate this data without uh, uh, much effort so I've created two more sheets so in your Excel you can create two sheets and you can uh, name them accordingly this way so you can name them like ref1 all right now we can add four columns so one is week so I'll just take it from here week date number of I've just added it this way right now date so I'll just mention 1st Jan 2019 all right now I'm just going to drag it to 31st Jan and what I'm going to do is see when we show this data to the senior management um, we wouldn't show like um, in our dashboard we wouldn't show that it's 2019 obviously the when we are talking about uh, the data at that point of time it's already 2019 so we'll just try to minimize the number of information that we are showing which will not be relevant for the month so I'll just uh, go to format cells and here I'm gonna put it as 14th of March only all right now the number of defects so I need some data in order to play around let's say I have like five three two uh, two three so I'm just uh, it's it's going to take time right so a better way to generate the um, the data for us is rand between and I can mention 1 and 5 in between 1 and 5 I need the data now I'm just going to put enter and I'm just going to double click okay now I have the random data between 1 and 5 right now Again, now if I, um, you can see 352 is the first three numbers. If I just type something here and if I press enter, all these data is uh, getting changed. So you probably would want to, you probably want to fix this, right? So shift, control, down button, control C, control V. And here you put it as numbers, space value as numbers. Now what happens is, now even if I type something enter 
that values are not going to change because I have taken those random numbers and I've pasted it as values. All right. Now the next thing is day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the calendar. I'm going to 2019 January and you can see first Jan starts with Tuesday, right? So I'll put it as Tuesday here and Wednesday. I'm just going to double click here and all the different days are going to come accordingly, right? Now comes week. Now I'll just put equal to week number. Serial number will be B2 that is on the date. So I'm just going to put B2 and the week starts with Monday and close the bracket and you can again double click on it. So you can see the week starts from Monday, right? Now another thing that you have to do is just take this control shift L and remove this um, remove everything and put Saturday and Sunday let's say Saturday and Sunday will not be working all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the Saturday Sunday data from this okay now I'll just select all now we have data of Monday to Friday only okay now I'll just put a nice table And you can ver verify any of these uh, dates over here. 16th Jan will be Wednesday, right? 16th of Jan. 16th of Jan will be Wednesday. Again, 22nd of Jan will be Tuesday. 22nd of Jan is Tuesday, right? So uh, our data is correct. And it's good uh, uh, to check, the, uh, check our data uh, uh, now and then uh, before we further uh, uh, proceed to the next steps. So I hope you... Um, I hope you understood this particular step of uh, making the uh, the the, the uh, base data of our uh, dashboard and uh, see you in the next video.